Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny 2. And thank heavens. Yeah, this is the uh, last Zer video I'll be making at uh, 4 a.m. Eastern because reset next week with Curse of Osiris is going to be switching over to uh, 12 noon Eastern. So yeah, my Tuesday reset videos, everything done at reset every day is going to be uh, at 12 noon. All right, and uh, Zer is over in uh, the EDZ, Winding Cove. And uh, keep in mind, guys, I'm going to throw an image on the screen real quick here if I waste these shanks here. Uh, is there not next week, the week after when we get our, uh, well, the week after we get the December 12th update. That's when the dawning's going to hit. Azura is going to sell some new items. Azura is going to sell three of coins. And it says one faded engram per week. I wonder if that's per character or is that per account? Oh, and look, I got my antiope. Ah, I love this thing. It's so good in PvP. Uncle Zer, what do you got for us today, baby? What do we got? We have... Alright, sweet business. Oh, something, finally something I don't have. The Skull of Daya Amkara. Sweet business, if you don't have this, grab this. Tons of fun in Crucible. Lately, this is pretty much all I've been using in Crucible because it annoys everyone on your team and annoys everyone else on the other team. Larger magazine, increased accuracy when firing from the hip. But the main perk is business time. Holding down the trigger boosts this weapon's range and rate of fire, and it automatically loads ammo pickups into the magazine. On the Titan with Actium War Rig, where it loads 10 rounds every second, this thing is a lot of fun. But uh, in, for PvP, what you gotta do is just uh, as soon as you start to see red on your radar, just start winding it up, and man, once it just it'll just melt people. All right, lucky raspberry. So this this was in Destiny One. It's a little different in Destiny Two. Uh, increases the chaining capabilities of of a uh, God. I can't talk it for you. Uh, um, increasing the chaining capabilities of arc bolt grenades and has a chance to recharge it each time it deals damage. All right. Uh, oh, I forgot. I'm not on my hunter. Never use these. Uh, I'm always gonna go for my arc strider with the Raiden flux. If you haven't gotten that, uh, hopefully you'll get it soon because <laughs> they're gonna fix the duplication process. But yeah, I'd pass on this one. Said the Seps. Everyone in the comment section last time said uh, they love these things. Sorry guys, I bought them last time. They're okay. You got increased melee lunge range, improved improved melee damage when surrounded. I got a cold again. My nose is all stuffy. Yeah guys, I don't know why everyone was going crazy over these things. I'm sorry. I don't, you know, on my Titan, I, I don't punch things. I'm sorry. I, I, you know what? Look, I love my Lion Rampants. I, I can't take these things off. I tried using these the other day, the Dune Marchers, which I got early on, but my friend Chris was like, you gotta try them. I didn't like them either. Yeah, Lion Rambits, love them. Love Actium War Rig. What else do I like? And uh, Doom Fang Pauldrum. All right, I'm gonna buy you just because I don't have it. And, uh, oh, what? An error? All right, Destiny 2 just crashed. Okay, let's uh, load up Destiny again and see what happens. All right, so it booted me just as I bought the Skull of Daya Amkara. Alright, let's see how it differs from Destiny 1. Provides additional damage resistance during Nova Bomb. Okay. Nova Bomb kills grants super energy. It's kind of like Obsidian Mind rolled into the Skull of Dyrum Car. Alright, I'll try it out. I don't really use my Voidwalker all that much. Actually, I don't use him at all in PvE. I do use them in PvP. You know, a lot of people don't know that the cave right here just brings you right up to Zer. Everyone tries to jump over the ship above. Yeah, there's a little cave here. Uh, for the hashtag made it to the end, uh, I just put up a news video earlier. Next week, uh, Curse of Osiris will be deployed after the maintenance is done. So just keep it locked in here. I'll be streaming right as soon as it launches. Uh, a little light on the content this weekend, except for I've got a, uh, a gaming company sent me. Um, a special box. I'll just leave it at that. So it's going to be a, a cliche mystery unboxing. Yeah, they, um, a certain gaming company that I love sent me a pretty big box. I'm, I just turned my head to look at it. Yes, yeah, it's a big box. Lots of stuff in it. So, oh, the chest there. We'll go through that. And um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of cool it and just uh, take a break for the weekend. I got a new couch coming Saturday. Uh, Personal stuff at the end. It's for the hashtag man at the end, folks. I've got a couch coming on Saturday, and I am in the market for a new car, actually. My old uh, old Denali, I think, is on its last leg. It's, it's like from 2006. Uh, and I'm in the market for either... I want to get a Yukon or a, a Tahoe. So I'm just kind of casually looking around, seeing what kind of lease... Uh, I def no, no, I'm sorry, finance. I'm definitely not leasing. I want to finance something if I could find it. Not a brand new one. No way I can afford a brand new one. I mean, like a good, like a 2015 or 16 one that's got Apple Play and has uh, all the bells and whistles and all that sort of stuff. All right, Babble Mode's engaged. Hashtag minute to the end, guys. Love you all. Do me a favor. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mesa Sean. Check my stream. Usually and always on YouTube. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.